Hello, Wolf Pup. It's your host, Ray Diaz, and welcome to Ah, My Girlfriend is a Demon Summon from the Depths of Hell. This is by Developers Watercrest for their Monster Maximum Month, I believe it is, Game Jam. Um, so, if you're liking what you're seeing in this, make sure to go ahead and vote for their uh, submission for this on Itch.io. Uh, there's four days left, I believe, in counting. Four days and some hours. Um, so definitely support them if you like this. Um, I've read and done Let's Plays of Our Home, which is good. I still have to continue that series, and that one of those links will be in the end of the video. But, um... We'll get started on this. In no way am I really affiliated with Watercrest. I just consider them good friends and wanted to promote it since they make such great games. Let's get into it. Tuesday, the most accursed day of the week. The foolish and enlightened masses regularly assume that Monday is the worst out of their lot. But Tuesday is where the true despair begins. They convince themselves that things won't be so bad. But as soon as Tuesday comes, they realize there is no escape. They have already become slaves to another mundane moment of existence. It is too late to break away when they finally realize their mistake. And the only thing they can do to keep themselves from succumbing, uh, succumbing to the insanity is to bear the weight of their burden until the week is over. Yes, Tuesday is the one day of the week where human anguish and misery reach their absolute peak. Delicious. Which makes things perfect for me. But who am I, you ask? I am Makoto. Well, just for your sake, I suppose it's best to tell you. Like an errant lightning bolt from the heavens cast down onto the earth, I appear to set the world ablaze. I am an existence unparalleled by any before me. I am a true being of ultimate power, a god amongst men. Um, in in this fedora. Wow, like... Hold on. I don't think you can hear his voice with the music that loud. I am an existence unparalleled by any before me. I am a true being of ultimate power. I think that's better. God amongst men. Bastion of Wolfgang the Wolf, the chaotic Lord of Thunder, the one that will bring this world to its. Ah, he was Makoto. So confused. Huh? Oh, my dastardly plans fooled again. Hey, keep it down in there. I'm trying to study. G go away, Yumi. I'm in the middle of something important right I'm, now. I'm busy with world domination in here. Leave me alone. Don't give me that, Makoto. You're just in there talking to yourself, aren't you? M my name isn't Makoto! Not anymore! Maybe? Maybe I've been here talking to Come myself. Come on, you're in high school now. Do you really have the time for this nonsense right now? Yes. Look, I I'll be done in here soon. Just give me a few more minutes, alright? Give me a couple more minutes! Not what it looks like! <sighs> whatever. Just try to wrap up whatever you're doing soon, okay? Okay. I could hear that vile person's steps as she walked okay. away. Damn it, my concentration is all messed up. Who does she think she is? Interrupting a demon lord in the middle of his monologue. Now I gotta get back into character and recount my spiel over again. Alright, from the top. Tuesday, a day fraught with disaster and despair. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Tuesday, a mediocre day in a mediocre existence. That highlights our mundane mediocrity for all to see. Uh, no. That sounds stupid. Too much alliteration, maybe? What did I even say the first time? You know what? Forget it. Let's just continue for where I left off. Yes, it is I, Sebastian Wolfgang IV, all-powerful commander of demons and ultimate terror! Now that you know who I am and what I'm capable of, I can see the fear trickling down your face like the blood from a fresh wound. But fear not, my I shall not consume your soul and erase you from existence. No, yet. no, I like to play with my food. I 
will instead make you watch as I finally unleash my full power onto the world and bring it to its knees. Well, you see, I have been preparing for a day like this for a long time, and now I shall attempt what no other mortal has dared attempt before. Yes, I shall perform a demon summoning. The demon summoning has begun. You were a fool to think you could challenge my authority and claim my powers to be false or worse mere make-believe but little do you realize that I yeah have can you summon demons no you and can't I shall begin my incantations on this very night oh sure in just a few short earth hours i will call for the demon of unimaginable power who will obey my every command without hesitation pew, pew. And once they are in this world, I will use their power to create a new world order. All of the insignificant insects shall bow before me or burn. Not even you, oh degenerate fool that you are, will realize what a mistake you've made when you have seen the error of your ways yes. and finally recognized my awesome yes. power. And like all great villains, I like to monologue for a very long time. After I bring the world to ruin, I'll crush you in an instant and watch your blood taint the rivers. Yes, the rivers run red. I will rule over all of creation! <laughs> Alright, you had your fun already, Mr. Demon Lord. Come on out. No! Way to kill the moon, mom. My attempt to escape this mundane existence was over as soon as it started. In an instance, I've gone from Sebastian Wolfgang IV, a thousand-year-old practitioner of the dark arts, back to Makoto, to Ka Takaya, a boring, normal high school with absolutely nothing special about him. It's frustrating, but completely unexpected. I've grown used to having my fantasies dash time and again. But every time I get dragged back into reality, it's a reminder of how bothersome it is. And the most bothersome force at that moment just so happened to be... Oh, not my mom. My sister Yumi. She usually knows her place and leaves me to my own devices, but every once in a while she comes along to take the wind out of my sails. If I could be considered a raging wildfire consuming all my path, then she could be likened to a rainstorm that quells those flames. In other words, she's a complete nuisance. Don't look at me like that. I just want to know what you were doing in there. Is that all? Come now, dear sister. Are you sure you weren't going to relay my tactics to any to any enemy spies? That's just like her, prying into a dark overlord's business. Well, I suppose I can overlook this slight. Just this once. Especially considering I'm actually in a good mood today. If you must know, O oh sibling of flesh and blood, I was busy preparing myself. Surely even you understand what that means by now, right? You mean you were letting the whole neighborhood know what a dork you are? D dork Leave it to you, me, to misunderstand the several nuisances of my existence. I guess I'll have to spell it out in big, bold letters. You won't be making such trite quips for long, dear sister. For you see, I will be summoning a demon into this realm. Wait... Summoning a demon? Of course! It will be an all-powerful, almighty soldier of hell who will follow my orders without question! With its power, I will lay waste to my enemies and conquer the world! You really think an all-powerful demon would follow a scrawny thing like you? Ignore that comment, Sebastian. She knows not the forces she is dealing with. I would be surprised if she doesn't have a single idea of what I was talking about either. Was that degenerate fool you were talking about, anyways? Huh? Well, spoke too soon. Y you mean you were listening in on me? Uh, yeah. Kinda hard not to when I could hear you from anywhere in the house. Damn it! I was a fool to do my monologuing in the bathroom. And there were any safe havens left in this cruel world? Is nothing sacred? That is none of your concern. I assure you, I will have everything dealt with in due time. Look, I don't really care what you do with this whole Dark Lord business, but just try to keep yourself from doing anything stupid, alright? Mom and Dad may be off to Kamakura for a while, but that doesn't give you carte blanche to make a mess of things while they're gone. So, 
Just try to behave yourself, okay? Sure. That's fine with my response. Yumi walks away without another word. She leaves me there, stewing in my own embarrassment. My mortal siblings have to butt in every chance she can get. Doesn't she? I can practically see the headlines. Dark Overlord of Destruction stopped by nagging sister. This is enough to make me vomit. But nothing is going to stop me now. Not even the one mortal who knows my thousand year history on this earth. I have everything I need to perform the summoning. Now all that's left is to perform the incantations. I glance back to my reflection in the bathroom mirror and give it a knowing sinister smirk. Plain old Makoto will behave himself. But Sebastian Wolfgang IV cannot be held down by mere mortals. With confidence surging through me, I begin walking toward my destiny. The day is a new day. If I am to overcome the trials that stand before me, I must redouble my efforts. In order to hone the darkest magics from beyond the spiritual plane, I have to resort to more drastic methods. We are as mortals after all. Without the blessings of the auspicious, we are as clay in the mud, without form, without the spark of divinity. I am only a man, granted. One that has witnessed a millennia of barbarism. But I'm probably... But I probably need a little help. The preparations are complete. The stars have aligned. The time to act is now. Ah, everything is proceeding just as I have foreseen. What an absolute thrill. I have repurposed my parents' garage to serve as an altar for the blackest of dark arts. You can see the salt pentagram, the basketball, the golf clubs, this red tote, and one single lit white candle. They probably won't mind, I hope. To be safe, I'll clean up before they get back. In all likelihood, they're engaged in some kind of wicked vice regardless. They're off to Kamakura, doing whatever it is adults do in their anniversary. The garage's design is perfect for my aspirations. I had begun burning incense for the past 15 minutes in preparation. A white and a black candle are placed on two sides, the white symbolizing the hypocrisies of those who would deride the darkest magics. And the black candle to serve as a representation of those darkest magics, balance and equilibrium. And upon completion, I need only to raise the doors and release this ashen hellfire upon the world. <laughs> Sometimes my foresight's pristine clarity terrifies even me. It's as if I can witness the threads of fate coiling before me. It's as if I can reach in and twist them to my eldritch whims. My plan is simple. Well, I have not gathered enough power to shed the trappings of this mortal husk. There are greater powers to consult. I will make an offering to the Dark One, then consort and make a bargain for yet greater power. Power that will overcome the greatest tribulation I have ever encountered yet. The cost is of no concern. I am already a demon. Pity I had to make some adjustments to the design of this ritual. Performing an invocation on a student budget is a challenge after all. Sacrifices were necessary, and not the fun ones. I'm afraid a chalice crafted from genuine silver was too, decan too decadent for this humble practitioner of black magic. Spray painting an ordinary chalice with silver paint, however, proved to be a more affordable alternative. A show of thriftiness that would please Mammon of Greed himself. I end up spray painting most of the items for use in this ritual. I hope the fumes don't make me dizzy. At least dressing for the occasion isn't a problem. I have plenty of black to wear. <laughs> And at the very least, procuring a pentagram was easy on the wallet. It is drawn in salt, a traditional preparation of sorcerers. Its purpose? To assert dominance over the forces of chaos. To bring order to those un unconquerable forces. Oh, right. Speaking of sodium. I reach for something I've been keeping in a nearby fridge. They say you're supposed to use blood for this sort of thing, but I... I'm a little squeamish around that kind of stuff. So I got tomato juice instead. I'm kind of hoping it's a decent substitute. I mean, I could use someone else's blood. My sister wasn't too thrilled with the idea, though. She actually smacked me. My head's still ringing from that. Well, it's organic at least, so I hope demons like this. Crack it up with a can, I pour some of the thick red blood substitute in a little dish. Taking two figures, I paint a circle with it. Perfect. It's large enough for me to comfortably occupy. Everything is almost ready. I can feel my hands tremble in anticipation. But I almost remember to calm myself. Ah, one more thing. 
I must preserve this auspicious moment. It shall serve as a portrait of my tireless preparations. Taking out my phone, I open the camera app and ready the lids. Good. Proper. Unedited evidence in its purest form. This will do nicely. Ah, wait. No filters. Filters are ugly and pedestrian. What am I even doing? All right, all right, let's chill for a bit. Got to get into the right mindset. As if possessed, my hands make a myriad of movements, casting a spell to protect myself from charms and other nucleus incantations. Safety first, after all. All right, I think I'm finally ready. I turn off the lights, leaving only candles to illuminate my makeshift altar. Finally, I lock the door behind me. This is it. The die had been cast. Clasping my hands together once more, I bow my head and kneel. It is time to recite the incantation. Shit, how does the Latin part go again? Uh, in, in nomine, de nostri, satanus, luciferi, ex excelsi? Eh, close enough. Latin's a dead language, and it's dead for a damn good reason. At least I'm decent enough to in my English class to handle the rest. I take another breath. In the name of Satan, the ruler of the earth and king of the world, I command the forces of darkness to bestow their infernal power upon me. I feel a little breeze caress my face. I'm not even done with the invocation. Blinking, I refocus. Though it's hell of a coincidence. Oh, open wide the gates of hell and come forth from the abyss to, to greet me as your brother and friend. What? What was that? Is there an earthquake? Come on, Makoto, wrap it up. Grant me the, the, in, the indulgences of which I speak. Come, come forth and answer to your names by, by manifesting my desires. Please? Strong gust of wind knocks me to the floor. I sprawl for a few precious moments before reorienting myself. The candles suddenly remain aflame. Despite the stormy conditions, a feeling of utter dread washes over me. What the hell are you doing in there, Makoto? You better not be making a mess! A feeling of dread intensifies. The icy blast of wind buffet my face. My bony hands clench against the asphalt. The realization of what I have triggered finally hits me like a stack of bricks. The ebony shadows dancing against the candle lit walls taunt me. This is it! I've caused the end of the world as we know it. I've granted passage to the Dark Lord Satan himself. If you're performing another one of your stupid seances or whatever, it's not funny! I'm gonna tell Mom and Dad! Shit! This... this isn't good! All I can do is grip my teeth and bow my head, to wait and behold the undoing of reality itself. The Lord of all evil himself is about to make his grand entrance. I can only hope he will take pity on me for my foolishness. The stimuli continues to assault and overwhelm me. I can hardly differentiate the screeching winds from my elder sister's incontingent screaming. Overwhelmed by the power, I close my eyes. Perhaps if I become acutely aware, I'll wake up from this horrible nightmare. I cast aside my thousand year career as a practitioner of the dark arts, if this were all to be some foolish boy's warped vision. And suddenly everything went quiet, and incense-filled smokiness hung in the air. This didn't feel like a dream. It was all too real, down to every grain of salt beneath me. I suppose I ruined the pentagram, but that was the least of my concerns. You can feel a presence in the pitch-black garage. But even with all the meditation and seances I performed, my eyes had not the power to pierce the ebony veil. My breath was steel. I knew I locked the garage door. So, who got in here? The realization hit me. It wasn't a question of who, but of what. A chill drifted down my spine. My attention immediately focused on the sound of footsteps against the asphalt. Left foot? Right foot? It was drawing ever closer. The presence was unspeakably powerful, and it was drawing closer still. Oh god, please don't hurt me. I can feel a raspy breath on my neck. Wow, tomato juice! Did you get this for me? Huh? T t tomato juice? Hey, this is, like, an offering, right? Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Tomato juice is my favorite. You know it's rich with vitamin A, right? 
The other girls make fun of me because it's so sodium rich and I need to watch my figure. But I think it's pretty all right to indulge in your favorite things every now and then, isn't it? I couldn't make out this person's face through the darkness, but the presence and the voice matched. Were they one and the same? What's the meaning of this? Is there a light in here? Oh, it's over here. Let me just get that. The lights took her back to life. And before me was an oddly dressed girl. A demon girl. But that's gonna have to do it for this episode of Oh My Girlfriend is a Demon Summon from the Depths of Hell. I know it's dragged on long, but I wanted to see uh, who this was. If you like this video, give it a pause up, subscribe, join the pack. Till next time, take care.